Welcome to the beautiful city of Lviv. It was first founded in 1256 by its first king, Danilo Hylitsky, and named for his son, Lee, it, which literally means lion, which is why it's known as the city of lions, and there's many lion statues around. And while it's a cultural center of Ukraine, it's known for many things, but what it's most famous for is probably its coffee, chocolate, and beer. So I have the grueling task of trying all these out and sharing my experiences with you. So let's go. destination where I'm going to try out tons of tasty chocolate. We're at La Vizca Maesternia Chocolato. It was actually uh, founded by this girl Natasha who really fell in love with chocolate so she wanted to open up her own chocolate store so she sat in her kitchen for weeks and weeks trying to come up with the perfect chocolate, what tasted good, what didn't and so finally she came up with I think it was four different types of chocolate that she really fell in love with, four different sweets and she tried selling them here in Lviv. Now there's four stores all around the country and they're hoping to expand it internationally. So. Let's go inside, see how it's made, and taste a little bit of chocolate. So here I just bought my first Lviv chocolate, so I'm going to try it out, see how it compares to the German chocolate and the Hershey's chocolate. So, here we go. Very, very good. Um, they, their chocolate comes from all over the world. They have some from Costa Rica, I think they said, and many other different places. And they have even chocolate artwork. They have even a chocolate karma sutra. So for those that like to get a little interesting with their chocolate, you can try it out. Very, very good chocolate. Some of the best I've had in the world. Now I can finally say that. <laughs> and we're here to try out the coffee and since I'm here I'm gonna try out the Americano coffee so we're gonna see how it compares to the American favorite Starbucks um, Americano Dr. you. 
So here we go, trying out the famous Lviv coffee. Starbucks. I mean, it's a lot stronger. It tastes more like coffee than just a sweet sugary drink like you get at Starbucks. So, I guess it explains a little bit more about the culture here. As you can see, people are sitting down, kind of having a coffee, and it's a place to meet people and get to know people better. A lot of times, coffee is used to ask people out on dates or just to get to know an acquaintance better. So, it's a lot different than in America where coffee is kind of just something that you pick up, like an accessory. Something Thing you get in the morning since a lot of the culture is placed on getting things to go it's not that way here it's kind of coffee is more of an activity than just something to drink so here we go enjoy And we're seeing how beer is made, and I'm gonna try some out later. So first, to make beer, you put malt in this big vat, and it's mixed with water, where it's then brought to 60 degrees, and um, natural fermentation occurs with all natural products, and then after it is fermented, it's actually then transferred to another vat, where it's filtrated, and all the sugar is extracted, and then it's added again, with hops three times over two hours at 100 degrees Celsius. So after that is all done, um, it's then sent to the fermentation room, which we'll go next. But first, we have the master brewer here with us, and he's gonna tell us about his biggest challenge working at a brewery. When you want to uh, make high quality beer, you must first of all uh, make everything very careful. You must all the time looking uh, what is the temperature, how many times uh, a lot uh, you need to keep some process, yes, and so on. Then uh, you must all, all times uh, try beer. <laughs> it <laughs> it's must very, be the hardest yes, part. <laughs> it's, really, it's really nice, nice uh, work. Yeah. <laughs> come, come in the morning uh, on the work and try a glass of beer. <laughs> Really nice. So, when the process in upstairs is finished, we pump to this tank and uh, hold here 20-25 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, we cooling uh, this. Uh, liquid yeah. to fermentation temperature is about 12 degrees and pump, pump to this fermentation tank. So this five tanks it's chance for fermentation. We give oh, it is, it is. Yeah. here and uh, the tank close <laughs> and uh, during one month fermentation go. Yes. After that when uh, beer is finished ready we pump this beer to this horizontal tanks for keeping mm -hmm. so uh, and from this uh, tanks we sell beer on, on, on restaurant yes yeah. <laughs> cheers <laughs> mm. that's what you call fresh from the tap <laughs> Lviv, the city of lions, and after trying all the coffee, chocolate, and beer here, I can say that it's been a great time. I've had a lot of fun, and my stomach is certainly very happy about it. So I hope that everyone can come and visit and experience the chocolate, coffee, and beer because it truly is some of the best in Europe. And that I will be, I will miss it very much when I'm back in America. I hope everyone can enjoy it, and I wish I was here for the Euro 2012 because it's going to be great to try it all. 
and see some great soccer being played. I hope you guys can come see Lviv because it's truly the cultural capital of Ukraine.